You're watching Seven's Afternoon News. Still to come, the Gold Coast glittering future after a weekend fit for Hollywood. And some showers and sunny breaks today. This is a look at Brisbane right now. It is 26 degrees. Tony has all the weather details next. In 7 News, the fight back begins. Major youth crime announcement. Urgent health warning on a crippling mosquito-borne disease. Why your grocery bills could soon start falling. And what a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half time at the Super Bowl, we have exclusive access. Jackpot, Kansas City! 7 News tonight. Good afternoon, you're watching 7 News. Checking the weather now, and we've seen a mixed bag today. This shot over Brisbane a short time ago. Blue sky in the distance and rain falling near and just on the south side of the city. Across Queensland today, we've seen onshore winds bringing showers to the coast. The heaviest falls just north of Bundaberg. Storms well inland, but no warnings have been issued. Now onto the forecast chart. The inland storms and coastal showers remain, maybe easing back a little bit in the southeast as we're actually on the axis of this ridge of high pressure and the winds ease back slightly. Slightly, but we do need to watch the monsoon trough and low up in the north for further development later in the week. There is a moderate chance we could see a cyclone up in the Gulf around Thursday or Friday. If you're headed interstate tomorrow, a hot one in Melbourne, up to 37 degrees with storms, strong winds and nasty fire conditions across Victoria. Even Hobart should crack the 30 degree mark before a cooler change into the evening. Back to northern Queensland, showers most free, frequent rather around the central coast, 30 the top four Mackay, while storms build around Weeper and Manai Isa as that monsoonal weather really starts to increase. Over southern districts, storms inland starting to link up with those showers on the coast and ranges. The only real spot to miss out is likely to be western parts of the Darling Downs. Roma tracking for 31 degrees. Across the southeast, similar to today, but I think the showers will be slightly less frequent. A couple of sunny breaks in there yet again. At 22 overnight, up to 29 degrees in Brisbane. Logan and Badesert should nudge up around 30 degrees. Then what can we expect for the rest of the week? Katrina, I'll have the full forecast coming up at six. Thank you, Tony. Well, the biggest names in Hollywood have praised the Gold Coast for its mega movie industry. Packing Up is continuing following the Actor Awards, which will return to Queensland next year. The credits are rolling on a film festival like no other. Australia's version of the Oscars has Gold Coast flair bringing big names here. Rebel Wilson, Kate Blanchett, Margot Robbie returned home, plus directors who had this to say about our city. My second time working here, remarkable people, front of the camera, behind the camera, and it was a, a director's joy. The event, much more than just awards, workshops held for the next generation with stars from Elvis and Bluey. Grow the industry here in the Queensland right from the roots. And opportunities for everyone. Roles like locations manager, uh, first assistant camera, uh, gaffers, grips. A special effects makeup masterclass too, run by Emmy Award winner Chad Atkinson. He's worked on movies like Narnia and The Hobbit. Gluing around the edges, that's the key to it all. And a push for Goldywood to grow. It just seems logical that the... the film business would just continue to expand out here. It just seems like a natural home for it. An expansion that is underway. We're in the final stage of tendering for the um, uh, studio site up in Yatla. Uh, capability of um, putting another 30 sound studio. The actors will be held here for the next two years, bolstering our blockbuster status. On the Gold Coast, Amanda Abate, 7 News. Humans who feel hot today should spare a thought for a zoo favourite in Melbourne, forced to endure the scorching temperatures while wearing a thick fur coat. Keepers treated snow leopard Miska to a refreshing ice cream made with lactose-free milk, of course. The big cat also has a misting system and an air-conditioned den to recreate conditions more like their mountainous habitat in the wild. <laughs> So beautiful. That is Queensland's 4pm news for this Monday. Stay with us now for The Chase and then 7 News at 6. I'm Katrina Blowers and I'll see you tomorrow.